Okay, so hi there everyone. We're now on our next video on the science, technology, and society playlist. And in this batch of videos, actually I'm going to create a lot of videos, um, maybe four or five more right after this, about us when technology and humanity cross. So first, before we are going to have this batch of videos, I have thought about that we need to put some expectation setting first. Okay, so by the end of this batch of videos, um, what will you, what are you expected to to learn, shall we say? So at the end of this batch of videos, these lessons, shall we say, you must be able to um, know number one, illustrate the different technological advancements in society, um, especially in the setting of the Philippines. Okay, number two, discuss the development of the science and technology in the Philippines, specifically, and discuss the effects of the interplay between the technology and humanity through the dilemmas that they face okay so this will be our expectation setting um, before the, the 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 start of this batch of videos okay so expect to learn these things okay guys um before we're going to have our um deep and thorough okay discussion about all the topics this video will be anyways will will serve as an introductory one Okay, and then we'll we'll try to recall all the things that we have um, talked about in the very first videos. Since we have talked about more about science, eudaimonia, and such, um, we need to recall what technology is first. So, the definition of technology, I would just need to go back to this to these um, words where the word technology came from. Okay, came from the word again, techne, and logos. Okay, techne and logos. So we have talked about this in the very first video, and um, according to Buchanan way back in 2010 this is a discourse on art okay technology is just a discourse okay it's a discourse on art okay when you talk about technology you will think about all sorts of things machines machinery factory um, application of science you know if you can remember in our first video technology is the application okay the direct application of science okay so concepts like machines and tools were also attached to the world word technology right so that's when you talk about technology it's a discourse of art it's an application of science okay it came from the words techni and logos so in one way or another if you will believe in me okay if you will try to think of this each person in society including you and me okay is directly or indirectly affected by technology whether we um, society each of us, he or she, was it or not. Okay, so most people survive their everyday lives with great reliance to the different, te to different technological advancements uh, are already available in the masses. So, um, especially in these times, we're in this situation that um, like everything, we need to connect even though we don't need to be there physically, right? Given this, this situation right now. So we are... Um, I think we can all agree that we have a highly and great reliance on technology nowadays. So with this, um, we can see that, that, that technology plays a very vital role. So um, in, that, in that sense, technology is already an inevitable part of society. So it cannot, be, it cannot, it cannot go away. It's, it's really a big part now of society. Okay, so with this with this in mind, so there's just one question to ponder. Okay, with that in mind, is now technology how um in your own perspective, in your own um, understanding, shall we say, is technology nowadays a necessity or a want? Hmm, maybe you can you can ponder that a moment or two. Okay, so what was your answer? Is it a necessity, a need, or just a want? Okay, so um, I think most of you, if not all, will really answer it's a necessity. And indeed, it is true. That it is indeed a necessity nowadays. So with this, what does technology offer us? Okay, among others, there are just, here are just four um, that technology can offer us. Okay, just four out of the very many, many. First is convenience. The convenience is one. Convenience in, say, maps. Just one simple example. 
in your gadgets there are maps there um in in traveling transportation technology is there machines right factories in everything actually in our society okay technology offers convenience number two technology offers pleasure entertainment okay in our smartphones right now televisions okay laptops cinemas they're all part of technology okay and they, they offer us pleasure that is in a sense entertainment they offer also happiness likewise um connected to pleasure and also it 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 eases us when it comes to communication okay um telephones nowadays there are no, no more or less telephones there are more cell phones than telephones so it gives us it offers us um communication even though in the, in the internet you know uh, me right now talking in front of you this is communication and technology offers me to lecture on you about this okay through the internet through youtube shall we say okay so that's 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 what technology offers some of what a lot the technology offers okay so these are just the highlights of what technology can offer to us but take note please take note remember that anything too bad anything too much rather is bad okay again let me repeat that anything too much is bad um, others say that um, too much of everything is a bad thing all right too much of everything is a bad thing and that's indeed true various ethical dilemmas involving the use of technological devices so there are of course some ethical issues in every okay in every technological device we use so we must need to you need to know that know them okay in order for us to be aware okay of what those dilemmas are and also the misuse or invention to produce bad results so we, of course technology is there for us to, to aid us not or to do good for us not the opposite or the other way around okay so these are the just simple reminders okay again everything or too much of everything is a bad thing so and also uh, connected with that is the ethical dilemmas okay so actually um this is just an introduction introductory video like i said um next batch in our video we're going to talk about television sets mobile phones computers and humanity together with computers we want to talk about laptops okay now um this is our our shall we say table of contents our batch of videos that we'll be creating for this um when technology and humanity cross first we're going to talk about technology or rather television rather and then we're going to follow it up with mobile phones and then computers and laptops and um this will be one video okay television mobile phones and computers and laptop laptops um the ethical dilemmas involving these things above are or is going to be another video or we'll see we'll see in the future what can we do also we need to take care and talk about robotics and humanity and after that we're going to talk about the ethical dilemmas faced by robotics okay so this will be our like i said at our table of contents our course guide uh, as far as when technology and humanity cross okay so we're going to have i'm going to create like um i don't know um maybe three to four three to four videos um regarding these topics below so yeah um surely we will take care of those okay i will take care of those and i will lecture them to you okay so yeah i think that's it for this video this is just an introductory one so this is the end already of when technology and humanity cross again under our playlist in the science technology society so thank you very much for watching. I hope that you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, when you subscribe, you will surely um, get in touch with the with latest um, content that I will be creating. And I will be creating more about science, technology, and society for sure. Okay, so thank you very much.